Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Jessica here with Beauty and Baseball. And today I have an intro for a new project pan that was started by Leticia Sanchez right here on YouTube. This is the finish $1,000 before 2018. And I wasn't gonna do this project, but I really wanna work on getting my collection value down. So I decided to just jump in and go for it. I figure worst case scenario, even if I don't get to $1,000, Anything that I get out of my collection, that's a bonus. I apologize in advance for all of the noise around me. I think every neighbor is mowing their grass right now because it's a gorgeous day. So I hope that's not too much of a distraction. Okay, so I have picked out 23 items to start with. As I use some of these up, I may roll in some more products. I guess I'm just gonna have to base that on how much I can use up and how quickly. Most of the products I have here are actually brand new, so Let's see what I can do with them. The first thing I have is not brand new. This is the Proactive Refining Face Mask. It's two and a half ounces and it's about right here. I will be marking everything after this video is over, but it is right about in this area. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, this retails for $27.95. Next, I have the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Peel. It retails for $96. It is a two-step and this one is brand new still has the seal on it. My next two items are from Jan Marini, both of them brand new. I have the Siesta Serum. This retails for $105 and the Hyla 3D retails for $125. Sorry I have my laptop over here so that I can keep track of all of the price points. Next I have the Lash Science Lash Factory Eyebrow Eyelash Serum. Say that 10 times really fast. Whew, I can't talk. It is just a serum that I only use on my eyebrows because I think they're a little too thin. And this retails for $19.97. Next, I have the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation. This is brand new, still in the box. This is in the color medium. And this retails for $38. I have the Cella Eyeliner Pen in Indigo Blue. I originally had this in my Fire and Ice Project Pan and I thought it was done because I stored it like this not thinking that liquid travels to the bottom and I was having a hard time using it. And one day I accidentally stored it to cap down. All of a sudden it works great. This retails for $24. I have the Too Faced Lashgasm Mascara. This retails for $21 and that mascara is brand new. I have the Estee Lauder Berry Quad. It's actually depotted. It is no longer in here. I only had two pans left in that. That's why that they got depotted. And these have been repressed. So I wanna get these finished up so that that quad can be completely finished. I have two buxom lip glosses. I have a full size in the color Bunny and it doesn't have a ton left in it. So I wanna get that used up. And this retails for $20. And then I have the half size in the color Claire and it is about to here so that would be nice to get used up and that retails for ten dollars next i have the valentia fresh mist calming toner looks like this and this retails for 22.80 and i am just above the label i don't know if you can see it splashing around in there so just above the label next up i have the bella vertu organics facial cleanser this is the argan and rosewood and it is just below this little flower emblem right here this one retails for $39. Moving right along, I have the Insta Natural Dual Face Mattifying Toner. It is all the way up to the top. This one retails for $23.95. True Skin Naturals Tea Tree Clear Skin Super Serum. This one is new and it's just about where the curve starts right here on the glass and this one retails for $69.99. Something that needs to be out of my collection because I don't love it. I don't even really like it is the very last one, Stila Lip Glaze in the color Raisin. It's probably got just a little more than half the volume left. I have a brand new Erno Laszlo Multi-Phase Makeup Remover and this retails for $27.50. I have the Bosha Peppermint Blotting Linens. It's not completely full. I probably used maybe 15 or 20 in here, so there's probably 80 to 85 linens left in it, 
and this one retails for ten dollars some more Erno Laszlo for you this is the transfuse eye refiner and this one retails for $35 it's tiny but you use so very little that one is brand new as is this Erno Laszlo this is the hydrotherapy sleep mask also brand new, retails for $45. The Hydropeptide Nimni Cream. This is a night cream, it's half an ounce. And this one retails for $110. And it is new. Coming down to my final two products, the Jessica McClintock Jess Perfume. It's a small one, but you don't need very much. And this little tiny thing retails for $30. And my last product is the Majestic Pure Coconut Oil Hair Mask. Looks like that. This is also brand new. It smells so good. It smells like a pina colada. Part of the reason I want to get this used up is that it expires in March. Okay, that is my 23 products that I have chosen for this $1,000 before 2018. And I thank Leticia for making this little project so that I will be motivated to really whittle down my stash because I need it. I desperately need it. I will be linking Leticia's channel down below and I hope you go check her out. I know she will be making a playlist of anyone that joins in and once she has that playlist ready I will link that down below as well. As I said in the beginning I am going to be rolling new products in once I finish stuff up. If I don't have any like if I run out of my facial moisturizers or serums or anything like that, I have plenty of those in my collection still that I can roll in. And as long as I can get to that magic number of $1,000, I'm just going to keep rolling products in until I can get there. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.